problem. Okay, so uh, congratulations, Renee. Welcome back. Renee has been with us for quite some time. She just went on leave and now she's ready to kick off again. Thank you so much, Renee, for considering us again. So uh, welcome. Thank you so much for joining us, Angels. So today we have Lala, Diana, Janelle, and uh, Rose. So um, yeah, before we get started with uh, asking questions, Renee, um, I would appreciate if you can introduce a bit of yourself and your business background, please, so we would know more yeah. about you. Sure. Thank you. My name is Renee LaMontagne Dunn. I live in North Dakota in the United States, which it gets about 50 degrees below zero in the winter time. So I think I'm going to be leaving. We're going to be putting the house up for sale and moving because I can't take this. Oh, I had a pretty crazy. rough winter with uh, illnesses and stuff, and I had to take a sabbatical for a while, but I'm glad to be back. Um, our business is a coaching business. We actually train and certify personal responsibility coaches, and those coaches are called that because we actually train our coaches and our people, our clients, to respond better to life's challenges and adversity. So they're called responsibility coaches. So we, uh, we specialize in trauma. We work well with people that have gone through um, issues with divorce or death or um, abuse, trafficking, things like that. Um, and the manual that we use now is a number one international bestseller. And that manual is used as a coaching curriculum that can actually be um, uh, customized for each individual client. The client, we have two set parts of our business, actually three parts, but the first part is training and certifying the coaches, which is, that's the major part of our business. The second part is advertising our coaches and then bringing people in to be clients for our coaches. And then we have a third arm, which is a nonprofit organization. It's called the Go Broken and Beautiful Foundation, which about a year and a half ago, I started teaching uh, women in prison. And we've had such success with these women in prison that we decided to develop a nonprofit, 501c3, and actually um, get donations and a board and people to help us work with the prisons. Our goal with this, this uh, foundation is to take it nationwide to every prison and every jail nationwide. We've had tremendous success with our program, which includes a 15 lesson course. It's a holistic based course. It's spiritually grounded. We do teach about God. Uh, we, we, in all of our research and all of our experience with this and, and our years in business, many years, a thousand years, I think, <laughs> um, we have come to know that, you know, if people have, um, have to answer to a higher power or be accountable to someone other than themselves, they are generally much more successful. Um, what else can I tell you? The class, the quote, the course that we teach is the $3,500 class. It is a 40 hour class with lots of homework and an internship. And once you're certified, we actually promote you as a coach in all of our advertising. And then um, we, in the ads, we work to try and help our coaches have clients. So with that, um, do you guys have any questions? Do you want to ask me any questions? Well, thank you for sharing, uh, Renee. Uh, I wonder what specific task do you want your VA to focus on? Well, it's a very boring thing at the moment. While I've been sick, um, things have just been kind of piling up. Uh, I have uh, probably three or 400 resumes that need to be archived into the contact list. So it's a very mundane chore, but it has to be done because that list is gold to us. And it's very important that we have all those names and contacts. So from there, you know, at once we get that job done, then we'll assess what needs to be done after that. But right now that's the most important thing. All right, so perfect. It's, it's not Thank very you. exciting. You know. <laughs> It is. Oh, very exciting. 
Okay. All right. Thank you so much. Uh, you may now go ahead and start questions, uh, Renee. I'll get back to so, you. So, Rose, tell me a little bit about you, my dear. Who are you, what you stand for, and what you won't stand for? Great. Um, hi, everyone. Good morning. Well, um, first of all, I would like to thank that I have given opportunity to have this interview. So uh, I currently live here in the Philippines, Lincoln City, and uh, my first BPO experience is I work as a customer service representative slash technical support in a telco account, which is AT&T. Then I also experienced working as an audience or audio development specialist, which is I need I have to verify every every information of leads so that we can send a free publication for every leads. And those leads are business owners. So um, after that, uh, the recent one is I work as an, an real, I mean, virtual assistant, freelance virtual assistant in an office space for a real, from a real estate agent. So one of my, uh, uh, task there is do appointment setting, responding to emails, telephone calls and messages in a timely manner, and conducting research, doing a property research, um, also managing online company social media accounts through, through Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Tumblr, and so on. I also do um, do audio, I mean video and photo editing, edit, editing using Canva. So um, um, currently I'm, I work as an appointment setter in a business foundation pros or professional campaign. So what I did is just um, looking for a business owners that really wants to, or looking for, looking for a opportunity to have their uh, more successful business or to look or to help entrepreneurs learn how to, to get more fuel on their dreams about their business. So I, I think that's it about my uh, introductory about myself. And do you have other um, questions? Rose, are, are, you, are you married? Do you, where do you, do you live with your parents? Do you have children? Uh, actually, I'm, uh, I'm single right now and my, I don't have my parents anymore. I just live by my own. Well, I'm so grateful to meet you. Thank you so much. Do you have too. any questions for me, Rose? Well, uh, my question is, what are those qualities that you're looking for as a freelance or virtual assistant? Well, right now, I'm looking for someone that's going to do mundane work and doesn't mind doing the mundane work because, you know, spending hours on, you know, going through these archives and getting those, um, getting those uh, contact lists done is pretty boring. So, you know, other than that, um, mm -hmm. I would like eventually someone that's pretty assertive about making appointments for uh, people that would like to come co become coaches. Um, mm -hmm. Someone that has um, a good understanding of our business and mm -hmm. uh, can answer questions and set appointments. So does that answer your question, my dear? Yes. And about your um, that specific uh, job role, which is uh, data entry or or doing transfer all of the uh, important uh, file which is you mean that so boring, but for me, it's still uh, it's, it's still a challenging and exciting job for me since I'm really a hardworking person. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it is, it's mostly data entry, mm -hmm. you know, for a while it's data entry and that's all I need. So where it goes from there, I don't know. We'll just have to assess and see what happens after that. So okay. saying this is saying that this is a long term job. I can't say that right now because we are working with a marketing person. And once we assess all that and get all this done, then we'll go to the next step. So any more questions, my dear?
<laughs> None so far, ma'am. Uh, well, thank, thank you. Thank so you. Much. Thank you too. So, Diana. Hi, Hi Renee. Diana. Hi. Thank you Good so morning, much for coming. Everyone. I appreciate it. Good morning to oh, you. My pleasure. It's Good night morning. tonight. <laughs> when I talk to you guys, it's morning for you and it's night for me. So anyway, well, thanks for coming on, Diana. So tell, tell me who you are and, and what you stand for. All right. So um, hi, Renee. Hi, uh, hi, ladies. And yeah, I am and I am 24 years old. I am not. Um, I am single. So um, so um, I would say that I I am very hardworking person. With regards to you know, I was really exposed to um, data since my uh, my job before as a administrative assistant in a farm production here in the Philippines. I was I handled databases, and of course, since I'm an admin, I also been in HR in our department. So with that, I was really exposed to handling people as well, inventory purchasing and all administrative tests. My, I was also a customer service representative in a Telgra account, and we um, cater, um, we cater um, queries and troubleshoot. Uh, and we, we do basic troubleshooting as well. So I was also a English online teacher, uh, mostly focused on um, Japanese students. So with that, I, I was really, uh, excited the moment I was uh, I was uh, given a chance to have this interview because um, data entry it it may be boring but then I find it really interesting um, analyzing data and how to sort things out um, important um, important information so that um, you can give it to your um, um, senior staffs thank you so what are your hobbies, my dear? What do you like to do? I'm so sorry. I said, what do you do for your hobbies? Your hobbies, what do you like to do other than work? Um, mostly I do read novels and then um, eBooks as well. Um, but recently I am into financial literacy because I really want to be financially independent and help my parents out. Wow, that's amazing. Thank you. Rose, I didn't ask you that. Tell me what you like to do uh, other than work. Miss Rose, are you there? Rose, can you hear me? Hello. Hi. Tell yeah. me what your hobbies are. I forgot to ask you. No worries. Well, about my hobbies is I really love cooking. And while doing cooking, I have to do exercise so that I can balance my, my health. And also, I love arts, doing um, painting, um, sketching. I also do a sketch up in 3D or 2D animation. And then also, uh, I watch movie trends or video trends in social media like Facebook, um, TikTok, or YouTube. Then I also do love, um, I have my garden here and at home and I do care of them since that um, plants are from my past, uh, from my mother. It's owned by my, it owns by my, my mother who passed away and then um, since I currently live by my own, I am a, uh, I'm just, uh, I live by my own here at home uh, only. Well, what I did is I do also some business, like just a small business, um, selling some groceries or a mini store. Then after that, um, still looking for other opportunities like this, a, a small um tasks which is data entry like that and the rest is i have enough sleep so <laughs> yeah i it doesn't mean that i don't have any like rest just for an hour but i'm i'm a person that 
um, really care about myself. And oh, I love awesome. doing a busy activity. That's it. Busy activity. That's great. Thank you. Okay, Miss Lala, are you next? Lala? Lala? Hi, Renee. Good evening hey. in the U.S. Good evening. How are you? I'm good, ma. I'm glad to meet you, my dear. Thanks for coming on. So my tell pleasure. Me about you, my dear. Tell me about oh. you. Yeah. Hi, my name is Lala. I'm 45 years old, still single, but I have a partner of 17 years. Uh, we've been living together and um, I've been work. I worked as a VA uh, last year. I started working as a VA last year with under Jason and under his client. Uh, I think the name is Carl for two, I think two months, but then um, right after there's a pandemic and then I went back to my regular work in the office. So um, doing what I did uh, before the pandemic, which is mostly I handle um, correspondence. I am a customer relations officer in my office. And mostly my job is basically, as you say, it's data entry. So uh, email management. Um, every day I talk to our um, foreign clients because our business involves um, deployment of Philippine workers, um, mainly to the Middle East and um, some in Sri Lanka and Cambodia. So I talk to them, to our clients almost every day. And uh, mostly I am involved in the documentation process. So, uh, so that's basically my daily job. So that's why I, I, I was thinking to get another um, side job to earn more. So, so you have you work 20, 20 hours for them during the week and you're looking for another yes. 20 okay yes i can work at night here manila time okay. uh, that's what i did before uh, when i was working as va under jason so that's it ma'am so tell me what you like to do miss lala uh at work mostly i um i i i I enjoying. Uh, I'm enjoying um, talking to clients. Really, um, I enjoy talking to them through email and chat, and at the same time, um, handling um, people because I'm in a supervisory uh, position right now. So I have two people uh, as my staff. So. Um, that's uh, mostly uh, I have uh, this uh, mentoring with uh, with applicants and um, coordination with my clients. So in my personal um, habit or my what I do as uh, on my personal case, I love traveling on the countryside. I love spending time with my family, with my nephew and nieces since my mother passed away just last month so oh, i'm still in a state God. of uh, mourning actually i am the youngest but uh, i was the one left here most of my siblings are abroad so i'm the one really uh, it's stuck here in me yeah, <laughs> that's tough, why i it? yeah really, uh, to keep really myself you your parents it was, it was because i am the one who's taking care of her until she died that's why um i to keep myself busy and uh yeah that's what i do and i love to eat everywhere <laughs> <laughs> uh, i love to eat too that's pretty sad <laughs> that's a big problem for me oh my gosh so miss thank you so much well i Welcome. appreciate that um miss Ganell, tell me about you my dear hi Rene. good evening from there yeah, nice to meet you. So I'm Janelle, you can call me Janelle. So basically my core expertise is accounting. So I'm a certified bookkeeper 
and I used to work in a private uh, accounting firm. And I also worked with uh, uh, my U.S. client before from North Carolina for a, re uh, a real estate company. So I work as accounting specialist there. And as an accountant and as a bookkeeper, I always handled a lot of documents. I always faced a lot of documents and uh, I always entered data, uh, figures, and evidence when it comes to entering and encoding. We are very keen observant in every details because uh, in accounting, it must always be accurate in every detail. So <clears throat> I think the, the task that you would need uh, as a encoder and the data entry. So I think I could help you with that. And I also uh, uh, used to manage emails, used to manage uh, uh, files and documents, you know, sorting documents, uploading documents with the system before I used a uh, system uh, to upload documents and uh, to keep it uh, on the soft copy. So uh, yeah, I can help you with that, uh, a specific task. And uh, I also worked with my client before, uh, that's an Australian from Australia. So uh, I'm very flexible with the time, with the, uh, with the task and whatever you need me to do with regard to the clerical work, clerical task and the administrative task. I can help you with that with my experience for the, fa for the past, uh, I think five years since I am um, always involved in, in admin, in accounting and finance department. So the sorting of documents, the encoding of documents in that field is very important and has a lot of role. It, I mean, uh, a huge role with my job. So yeah, I think that's it. So are you married, Janelle? Yeah, I'm married and I have a two-year-old son. Oh, you said two or three? A uh, two, two year old. Yeah. Oh, wonderful. That's awesome. What is his name? Zilspert. <laughs> comes from the <laughs> comes from the uh, drum. I think the drums. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh. His father name. Yeah. Yeah. How cute. So Thank what do you, you like to do on your off time? Yeah, basically my <laughs> routine is uh, around the house only because I'm a mother and in my free time, I took care of them. And uh, in the weekends and Thursday, I go to church because I'm a worship leader. And uh, I, yeah, I serve God <laughs> and church. Awesome. Well, that's Thank great. You. Okay. All righty. I appreciate you. Do you have, does anybody have any questions for me? I think not so far. Okay. Thank you. Any questions you, for Ms. Lala? Um, none, none for now. Okay. Maybe if you hire me, I have a lot of questions after this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you would have a lot of questions. So, um, yeah, it's uh, it's going to be interesting how all of this is done. That's for sure, because it's coming over a LinkedIn account. And I don't know how I'm going to do that, whether I'm going to have to download all of those resumes to get to you or whether you can download the resumes. So we'll have to see how that goes. So. Naomi, are you still on here? Yes, I'm here. So okay. we are all done with the questions. Yes, my dear. All right. So what, do we, what do we okay. need to do from so, here? Yeah, the next step is, of course, for you to announce who you wanted to work with. Are you going to announce it now or would you like to sleep on it? 
Did you happen to record this? Yes, I did. Okay, because I'd like to show this to Jesse, my husband. So can you send that to me? And I'll yes, uh, I'll send it uh, once uh, downloaded. So we'll just wait for your announcement. Just feel free to chat on the mastermind group chat to the beginning. I want you all to know that I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful all of you came. I'm. This is going to be awful decision. I don't like this because all of you are so qualified and so wonderfully beautiful human beings from the inside out. So just know this. This is very difficult for me, and I have a feeling I'm just going to put your names in a hat and just choose somebody because all of you are very qualified and thank you for coming. I appreciate it. And knowing Jason and knowing Naomi and having experience with them, I know that you're very well trained. So thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you guys. Thank Bye. you. Have a good night. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Renee. Thank you. Good night. Thank you, Renee. Good night. Good night. Bye. Bye. <laughs>